Hey guys. Hi. How are ya? We made it. Hi, What's she doing back behind my head? <laughs> okay, so. What do you think? <laughs> Bunny ears. They got the party started for us. Sorry we're late, guys. We got the Wi-Fi fixed. So we have Dara. We have Mary. We have Andrea. Oh, you guys. Great. Beans. Oh, oh my gosh. Beans, you beat Debbie. Woo. Oh, wow. Gas. Okay. Right. Do we have Wi-Fi back, or are we on? Yeah, we're on Wi-Fi. Oh, yeah. cool. Gloria, yeah, Deborah. We're having a little glitch, guys. Yeah. Sorry about that. I don't want to have him, but anyway, he called Comcast to get him to reboot the modem, and so yeah. now we're good. All righty. Okay. Well, Diane's going to do something super, superific today. <laughs> Let's hope. And I'm so glad because I'm fried. <laughs> As usual. And I haven't even made the coffee yet. Poor Jordy's been on the phone with, with Comcast. That's all right. But uh, I'll come out and make it in a minute. And All right. So I'm about ready for some anyways. So, listen to Diane. She's got a big, big <laughs> new thing here that's going to help you. Oh, it's about coils. Ah. And you know what? It, you know what? Uh, you're going to do pearls? Yes. And both and run We are getting like a dump load of colored check pearls. Ooh. Here in a few days. It won't be up till sometime next week. There ain't no way. But that's but okay. That's okay. Yeah. Once we they get here, we'll all Just know what tell to do you with them. What's coming? So this is very timely. All right, I'm gonna take my little face out of here and go. All right. That's a beautiful one there. Oh, brother. We got Christine, Jan, Ayanka, Thanks Debbie. You, you made it. Yes, I know you usually tell beans. <laughs> Thank you guys. Thank you for being patient and joining us for all the fun. So we are continuing our series. On Jewelry Twins of 2024, what? Mary says, Diane, full of pearls of wisdom. Oh, my. <laughs> Let's hope. That's a good one, Mary. Okay, so, yeah, last week we started our 2024 Four Jewelry trends. trends, and we talked about statement necklaces and big statement cuffs. And this week we're going to continue on because there's a, it will go about four weeks total. There's a lot more trends to talk about, so... What are the trends we're talking about today? Well, you may have seen them in Lauren's title for our video. We're talking about rosettes, we're talking about pearls, and we're talking about bows. So, I printed bows. out some stuff. Bo Lauren's favorite. She loves her some bows, this <laughs> girl. Do. Although I love pearls, too. <clears throat> pearls are classic. They never go out of style. The two uh, examples I have to show you of bows are Lauren's creations because Surprise. she is the bow girl, the bow queen. So, hi, Sheree. Hi, Annalise. Let's start with pearls or bows. Which do we want to start with? You want to start with bows? We'll go with Lauren. We'll start with bows. Right. So, I printed out some things from um, online to talk about. So that it shows that these are the big things of 2024. So She's not lying to us. No. She's not making this up. <laughs> what does that bows, say, Lauren? Bows, and more bows. Bows, bows, and more bows. And it's hard to see. Lauren, you can hold this closer. The girl is wearing a bow necklace. They should have put oh, a different is. shirt on her. Yeah, she is. Because it kind of necklace. obliterates her bow necklace. Yeah. But, what was that with the fashion choice? But this was the header on the page. They even put a bow in her hair. Yeah. This was the header on the page to talk about that bows are a big thing for this year. So, here's something else. So, this little printout I'll read it to you. It says, are bows in style for 2024? It says, bows have taken over the runways of 2024, becoming the indispensable element of style. Blouses, dresses, footwear, and jewelry everywhere, adding a sprinkle of femininity and romance. So, bows. Okay, what else do they have to say about bows? Here's another one that's talking about bows for 2024. The focus on bows as central elements in necklaces, bracelets, and earrings add a whimsical yet refined touch to any ensemble. It says whether crafted from precious metals, embellished with gemstones, or featuring intricate detailing, bow-inspired jewelry is making a bold and stylish statement in 2024. Now this one, Lauren, you can show them the picture because this one actually, this little uh, example encompasses two trends, bows and pearls. Oh, it does. So that's even more perfect when you can combine two trends in one. Mm -hmm. Who else likes bows out there? I know Joanne does. She's not on with us yet. Who else? Anybody else so far? Hi, yeah. Karma. Hi, June. Aw, 
Thanks, Annalise. I missed you, too. You're okay. Sweet. So, bows. How can we use bows? What do we have here at Bisu Boutiques that would work with making jewelry with bows? Well, Lauren's going to show you a little pair of earrings she made. First, I'll show the piece. Let's talk about the little piece that she used. I'll let her hold it up and show you. This is one of our charms. It's actually... I would say it's more of a pendant than a charm or an earring drop because it's, it's kind of like big. A, it's like a chandelier Yeah, it's drop. kind of big for a charm bracelet, but here, you can hold that in your hand and show that up close. And it has a bow at the top. It's so pretty. I love that. You getting a good view there? I'm going to try to tip it just a little bit. There we go. Okay. So it's kind of, it's like in the shape of a heart almost. With a bow on top. Kind of, sort of, and with like a ribbon style bow. Mm-hmm. And what I like about this piece is... There's, I believe these are zinc, too. Yeah, I think so. And there's a There's five hanging holes at the bottom to put any kind of dangle that you want. But I like the fact that there's also one in the center. Mm -hmm. So now you can hang something to match in the center. Now, this would look great if you wanted to combine two of the trends and use pearl beads um, as your drops and as your center piece. Lauren did something a little bit different when she made her earrings. Oh, Cherie says she loves bows and pearls. Oh, no! well then you're right set, ready to go, girl. All right, so these, we have one package left, but we do have other similar little drops that you could use in similar like pastel colors. Beans likes these, she's seen these before. I call these my gumdrop earrings. Yeah, put um, your hand behind that, honey. Because these are what they call sugar beads. Because they have that little bit of that white powdery, I don't know what you want to call it. Coating. Coating. There you go. Thank you, Mom. Coating over them. Um, they are glass. And they're in, but they're in the colors of like gumdrops. So yes, I call these my gumdrop earrings. These are my candy earrings. <laughs> I love them. I think they're so cute. But any little drops would work. You could use pearls. You could use briolettes, glass briolettes. That would look beautiful, right? Mm-hmm. Tear, any teardrop bead, even round bead. I mean, really, really cute. I love those. Thank okay. you, Mommy. All right, <laughs> here is another sample of something that Lauren did with bows. And this, ding, ding, ding. Oh, Mary says that she hasn't seen that piece before, so thank you for showing it. Okay, and I will give you the number. Here, show the number. You guys want to take a screenshot or write it down real quick? So it's charm 04893. C-H-M 04893. Hi, Denise. That's why we like to show things on here, because sometimes they are things that maybe you hadn't run across before. Okay, we're going to show another piece that Lauren made. Can you, oh, like, not nice. hack my head off? Yeah, okay. sorry. Well, I was trying to before. <laughs> I'm but like, I feel like, like I'm a... Like, sorry. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it just seemed a little okay, weird. Okay, now, please, guys, I'm going to preface this. This isn't completely finished yet. There are still some threads on the ends of this that need cut off so no we're judging <laughs> 30 lashes long. full, full judge okay full judge this is such a beautiful piece that lauren made oh goodness and she encompassed <laughs> pearls two and... of the trends i did um she did pearls and bows I did. Yes. so this is actually the front and it kind of goes off to the side i don't yeah, would hang the bows would hang on the side of her neck. It, like in the front. Like this is the, the like I used a giant rhinestone lobster claw, which we have in both gold and silver mm -hmm. in stock. And I wanted that to kind of be my focal point of this necklace. And then I put the bow connectors on either side of it. And then I did And then of course a, pearls. Yes. And then I did a few just like check beads in between the pearls just to kind of like break it up i love that piece and when but. she puts it on can you put it on oh wait you won't see let me see i don't it won't fit me your neck's way smaller <laughs> than mine but i'll try to lay it so they can see okay so it's not gonna fit me i'm sure <laughs> no okay me and my big neck <laughs> okay let me just hold it over there. So these would lay, like, off to the side. Yeah. Like that. Okay. I do have a picture of myself wearing it. Oh, well, you'll have to post that. I'll post then. it on the group after. Okay. Now, that particular bow that was in that 
Oh, Beans loves bows, too. Oh, they're so cute. And they're classic, right? Bows are classic. Kind of timeless like pearls. Thank you, guys. That particular bow we do not have in stock anymore, but we have no. this one, which is which pretty is similar. And it's a, it's a tad larger. Show Although this one. one doesn't have the two hang holes. It just has No, one. but all you have to do is put a little... Put like, a little loop there. With a, a little sin... Sim, yeah. Sig tag. There we go. Yeah, a little... Uh, Behind it. Behind it. And you can use that one. That to... one is in our satin gold. And it's 02651. I love that one. And we also have that one in brass ox. Okay. If you would prefer that. Okay, what other things do we have with bows? I don't know what else we have. <laughs> okay, we have these which I love. Do you want to pull those out and show those? Oh, yes. These Joey are works with these a lot. lever back earring um, tops. These are like her the favorite. The actual lever anything. back, and they have a little bow. And I like these because maybe you're not, you don't want a giant bow somewhere like Lauren does. Lauren will wear them in her hair. She wears them here. Maybe you like a little more subtle. These are great because you can make a dangle earring and just add a little touch of a bow at the top where it's hanging. And these come in packages of six. Yes, and so I have used those many, many so times. So it's nice because you have enough to make three pairs of earrings then. Yeah. I'm trying to get this so it doesn't. Sometimes when there. I try to go in, it will blur on me, so I'm sorry about that, guys. Okay. So you can see that's where you hang from. Right now we just have them in silver. We normally have them in all the colors, and I'm sure they'll be coming back in very shortly. But And then you can see that's the back. back. Oops. So that's a, a nice way to either add just a subtle touch of a bow, or if the piece that you make, a statement necklace, something has a big bow, and you don't want the earrings to compete... That's another good way to add a bow in that that creates cohesion, but doesn't compete. Sherry says she still has bows from the 80s. Oh. Mom was big that, 80s. Oh, that's my era. <laughs> Who else is a Bon Jovi fan? Woo. Okay. Then we have, I like this, because this is also, again, a subtle, really subtle way of use of bows. We have this little heart pendant that has tiny little bows all around the outside of the border. Oh, thank you, Sheree, if you're talking to me. Mom has really pretty, pretty nails today, too, so. <laughs> I know, but yours are super cute. Thank you. Yeah, I'm, try I'm, yeah, try I'm, I'm trying to get ready for spring. I know, like a pinky. We're being bad. Color. We're not showing Julie. We're showing nails. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> yeah, you could have bows painted on your nails. Hey, there we go. So that one, can you... Can it has you, a bow border. Yeah, it has a little bow border, so which is just me, adorable. It looks zoomed in on the phone, but sometimes it's not as zoomed in on the iPad. Oh, there, there you go. Tiny little bows. It's super cute. Okay. Now zoom out of me. Yes, I know. Good grief. Scare people. <laughs> okay. Then we have two more things in bows. These bow tie pieces... Filigree bow ties. Sheree says, woohoo, living on a prayer. Ah, uh, right? No, no, for later, for the trends, bed of roses. <gasps> oh. Okay, we'll get there. We'll get there. Okay. So, see, I'm her child. Can you right? tell? Right? I raised her on 80s music. <laughs> still love it to this day. And okay. I still love the big hair. Oh, right? I, I, I'm still, yeah. So, anyway, this is a, like, a bow tie, filigree bow tie. And you can cut these. You can. You can cut them in half and if just use are. one side. But if you're looking for the bow motif, yeah. then you would keep it whole. But these are really cute, too. And they could make a nice statement necklace in the front, which, because they have hanging holes on each corner, and they would be great for a statement necklace. And there you, again, encompass two trends. It would be cute to do, like, a little drop or something. From that, and wear it with like a starched button down white shirt and like oh, yeah, a blazer. And, and denim jeans and a and maybe even a denim jacket. Like to do like your feminine version of like a bow tie for a girl. Yeah. You know, like and make that your jeweler. Like almost like a brooch, but like for your really? collar. Oh, well, this could be a brooch too. Yeah. Okay. Last bow piece, which this is a really popular one around here. <laughs> Bean says Tommy and Gina say hi. <gasps> oh. <laughs> right. Right? Yeah, okay. Thank you. 
Okay. This is our last bow piece. That's another one Joanne's made. This is a really, <laughs> really popular one here. Yes, Joanne loves this piece. And this is another ribbon. This style one, piece. this one doubles down as well, because the bows are a big trend. But, but silver, the, but silver oh. is also a big trend for twenty twenty four. Now the, we'll talk about this, but the rosette it does have roses on here, but this is different than the trend. Correct. You which can mom, add those. Which you can mom, add those. Which mom will show us. But the can... Oh, thank you, Debbie. She okay. I thought that was a cute idea. Okay. You're cutting it out. I'm okay. sorry. Well, I, was, I had to... Okay. Go down for a minute. Sorry. So, trend number two is... Okay. 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 Pearls. <laughs> So what does this say? You're so funny. Okay. You started it. I know. <laughs> Pearls will be... You can't it says, put us together. Right? It's bad. It's bad. Okay. All right. So this one says... Pearls, focus. Focus. <laughs> Lauren, focus. Pearls will be the official jewelry trend of 2024. Oh, official. Official. That's well, that's what official. this list said. Okay. Okay. And it quoted Grace Kelly, which I thought this was cute. She said, the pearl is the queen of gems and the gems of the queens. And she was right, because the timeless elegance of pearl jewelry is undeniable. Pearls have stood the test of time. And I think we'd probably all agree with that, right? Mm -hmm. For sure. Pearls have always been around, and pearls are here to stay. But they are making a big statement this year. Hey, Dara. And, of course, we just saw a few minutes ago Lauren's pearl necklace. With choker, the... kind of a choker style. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Here is another choker style that i Made thought was so of, cute that's and that encompasses both bows trends. and pearls bows right and isn't that cute that is cute you could just use pearl chain you might be able to tie it off like that if not you could just create drops and hang them down on a head pin or something yeah that, you could you could do this with wire mm -hmm. the bow the bow part yeah, yeah. and then cute? connect it somehow yeah that for sure Okay, so again, Hi, it, buddy. I saw this and it says, our pearls in style for 2024. It says 2024 is shaping up to be a big, all in capitals, year for pearls. They've been featured heavily in fashion shows and with celebrities for the past few years, but if we're noticing anything in 2024, it's going to be bigger and more pearlescent than ever. Okay. So we need to jump on the trend, right? Here is a pair of earrings made out of pearl chain, I believe, but oh, I should have with brought graduated my, my big pearl earrings. Graduated pearls. And which I think that could be really cool. You could make that yourself just with different sizes of pearls, earrings and 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 put a either a wire or a post on the back of the top one. I think it's interesting that they actually and they switched it and they went from large to small. I prefer that. Oh, do you? That's just me. I prefer that. I did not know that. Yeah. Interesting. So, yeah. That's some. And then it mentioned um, that, like I said, pearls are going to be huge, huge, huge. So, let's look at some other things with pearls. Here is a set of stack bracelets that Bisu made out of different sizes and shapes of pearls. I love that set. I'm all about silver, gray, blingy, clear crystals. And, and she kind of has the, with the large, neat, kind of small, like, Graduated. changing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you can wear them any which way, with the small in the middle, the small on the other side. It doesn't really matter, but look how cute. That's very elegant looking, I think. Extremely elegant. What do you guys think? Pearls, to me, is a very elegant look. And like we're showing with Classy these. Classy and classic. It doesn't, or, well, mine were like champagne. These are like the silver. So you don't have to go basic white pearls. No, absolutely not. <laughs> Sheree says, woohoo, this is my year. <laughs> right? I know. We're kind of, I'm kind of feeling that way myself. Mom's, like, mom's silver. I'm digging it. Okay, <laughs> here is a necklace that Lauren made. Oh, no, here we go again. And this one has <laughs> colored pearls. Yeah, I used colored pearls. She this. used blue pearls, which why not? This is kind of like a spring necklace. I did use silver too, which I rarely use. <laughs> See, she's up on all <laughs> the trends. On the trends. 
So yeah, I used some of our blue pearls, and I believe these were glass pearls. I incorporated them into my chain with some bead candy beads that I had. Well, and just like Bisu said, this and is some, what she she's ordered a bunch of glass pearls and pearl style beads. Yeah, these are like acrylic, but they kind of like gave me like a pearl feel to those little yeah yeah yeah, yeah. white ones in between the blue pearls. Mm-hmm. But that blue. Ew, so pretty in person well like i'm gonna argue i know the blue girl okay what else do we have that has pearls oh this is another piece that bisu made which one shuri she said she said something was beautiful that reminded her reminded her maybe you'll know reminded her of early madonna and melrose avenue i don't know maybe the these? bracelet or the earrings maybe oh thank you shuri Okay, so this is something that Bisu did that takes pearls in a different, to with a different angle. They're not, it's not a pearl chain or pearls in the way you might think of, but there's pearls sprinkled around a statement necklace that she made. So again, doubling down on the trends. Statement necklace with pearls. And it's that Mona Lisa that everyone loves mm -hmm. too. Yeah. I like the way that she just sprinkled the pearls all throughout. But that's another way you can use them. Yeah, again, if you're not like one of the like pearls like in your face. Or just you know, a chain thing. of pearls. Yeah, like this is another way to still have pearls be in your look without it. And then we have one more piece that Lauren made. Oh, goodness gracious. It's all about Lauren today. Oh, goodness. This is a more of a choker style with a double link. Now, see, there you go. Graduated sizes. Small to large. Hey, hey. <laughs> Show them how you attach to those cabs because those didn't have loops. No, they do not. This was a little bit slick on her part. I used some brass triangle connectors that we had that made them perfect. That those would be in our make ba a base. base section. So I could hang the pearl chain from the top, and then I had two hanging holes to then hang my double style. So sometimes you just need to think outside the box. You, ha you have a cab, she wanted it, hmm? The earrings. Oh, yeah. She had a cab and she wanted to have it incorporated into that necklace, but she had to come up with an outside the box way to connect. I had to use my brain. <laughs> With steam coming out your ears. And then I made these go. These were actually, this was actually chain that we had. That black. Um, we might still have some in stock, actually. And I cut it into just little, um, what's the word I'm looking for, Mom? I just cut sections? It little sections. And uh, used it to make dangle earrings and added a pearl and a little glass for you. So chain can come in handy for many different things. You don't have to strictly use it for necklaces. I love using chain scraps. Yeah, yeah, for, yeah. Little bits and pieces. For earrings. It makes it really easy. It's already beaded for you. Our rosary chain is beautiful. Yep. And you're like already practically done. <laughs> okay, can we lift up again? Yes. Okay, so the last trend that we're going to talk about today, not the last one we're going to talk about, but for today, is... The rosettes. Rosettes. But what kind of okay, so it says rosettes are in full bloom. So I'm going to let you hold this up over there for a minute. Oh, thanks, Christine. Thank you, Deborah. Aw, you guys are so sweet. Thank you. So a big trend this year is what they call rosettes, which is like a fabric rose that's kind of wound around. And you'll see it there in a couple places, but I'll show you some better pictures. Okay. So here is a choker made with a rosette, a big fabric rosette. I like it. I knew you would. <laughs> and here is a very similar idea. And here here we go again, doubling down, rosette with pearls, a choker oh. with pearls. I kind of see that. You see that guy? So there's like pearls there. I'm trying to bring that in so you can see that, but yeah. And then this little paper here says, that bow accessories and rosettes are poised to get even more popular 
and for 2024. So here's another way to use rosettes. And, and after we talk about this, I'm going to show you a little demo of something that I made that you can see how this could come about. Okay, so here is another example of something you could do. Oh, I like these. With a little drop at the end. And it's pearls. Now, I was looking at that picture and I was thinking, now how would you make that work? Because it's all this big fabric rose it's at fabric, the top. Right. So how do That's you the part that has to hang from your ear, right? Here's another picture of earrings. Okay, now let's all take a moment and ignore the fact that this girl walking down the runway looks like she's mad at the world. <laughs> But her earrings always, are rosettes. They always do. Right? She looks angry. I don't know why. She's probably getting paid big bucks to do this job. But anyway. All right. I'm going to show you a little demo of something. A way that I thought we could incorporate rosettes into things. Um, if you want to turn the camera down to the counter, please. My lovely. Okay, first I'll show you two things that Bisu made. Well, a couple things that Bisu made that have rosettes in them. A little more, please. Okay. All right, here is a piece that Bisu made out of fabric and lace. Okay, sorry guys, I'm moving the tripod a little bit. Sorry if it's unsteady. No, you need to come a little closer. I'm going to zoom in. Oh, okay. Okay, there we go. So... You'll see these swirled pieces of fabric. Can you see that? Mm -hmm. All of these swirled pieces of fabric. There's another one under here, this one in the beige. Those are all rosettes. Now you can add actual roses and other flowers to she it. She had pearls. Um, and she did that all on a lace back. Oh wow, she didn't use any metal for no. that. It's all on, on lace and then she did her little that would actually probably uh, feel nice against Your skin. wearing it, though. Like yeah, I think so, too. Just wearing fabric. So those are rosettes. Here's another one that she did. With sari ribbon. With sari ribbon. This has a little bit more of a boho feel, which, hint, hint, is also coming up as a trend. Oh, is it? And these, again, are rosettes that she made out of sari ribbon. Again, all fabric. Well, there is some metal, but it's on the front. Yeah. Now, here's what I want to show you. So what? how can we do rosettes? Especially if we want to make a pair of earrings look like these. Because how are you going to hang something off this, the back of this flower? So we have in our base section. Oops, sorry guys, one step. I'll show you a couple of pieces. We have brass blanks that can be used as a base for something. <laughs> Sherry says she's got a unibrow. No wonder she's mad. <laughs> right? I'd be mad too. Okay. So we have these yes, pieces. Yes, Mary. She did. She had a video on the... The lace piece, yeah. Well, actually, she may have had one on the sorry ribbon one, too, actually. It's very possible. Okay, bring these up, Elma. Oh, okay. Okay. So these are just bl brass blanks. And I had an idea. Actually, I kind of like this one. Well, and this it, one's nice because it has a little hanging Yes, hole. and you could maybe, depending on size, glue a stud. Or a button back. or something in the middle in the middle so you could then all right so here is one that i took and i started rolling a rosette on cute so what i did was i left the edge free so you could see i put a layer of glue and then i just took the end like this laid it down there and the whole thing was covered with glue and i just started winding around in a circle until I got to here. And I would just, if I was gonna keep going, I would just continue on around like this. Mm -hmm. Now you have something to glue a post to 
to the back, right? Mm -hmm. You can glue a post on the back up towards the top. And another little base to hang your drop. Yeah, and, and like a little um, loop at the bottom. If you used this one, you have a little hanging hole already there to hang your drop from. It would go this way. And then you could just glue your stud to the back. And glue your post to the back. Mm -hmm. You could... I'm going to show you something else. Put so a pearl, something else in rosette. Put a pearl flat back right in the middle. Okay, so yeah. So something like this. Yeah. Could go smack in the middle of that. Or you could do a just, laundry. And look at the like what Bisu did here. Yeah. Or you could, or even if you just didn't want to do two trends and just want to stick with the rosettes, you could do a Monty. You could do or a Monty. Like we have those crystal Montes that are gorgeous. We also have the these crystal ones. fabric rosettes that are already made, little ones, if you don't want big giant ones. Oh, that's okay, Colleen. You can always go back and rewatch. We're glad you're here. These little fabric, whoops. Mm -hmm. Oh, I like the blue on blue. You could even put one on I might, there. I might actually snip off. You get off. a bag of all, all the colors. I would probably, I like that. I don't like the blue on blue, but I would probably, personally, I would snip off the leaves. Snip off the leaves. And you could. Why not? Yeah. Why not? Cherie said she used to uh, chase down French wired ribbons to make rosettes. She used what? French wire uh chase down oh french wired ribbons chased, oh french wired ribbons oh uh -huh. she used to find them already done okay oh a rivoli oh my gosh yes that what's would be a, beautiful what's a, what's a it's like a chaton but it sparkles in the most beautiful way the way they're cut oh, gorgeous okay. i learned something new gorgeous so yeah now i did it this way because i am sewing challenged <laughs> Next two of us. But you don't have to glue it down. I you glue. could also just wind the ribbon and stitch it as you go, which is exactly what Bisu did with these. She stitched them together as she went, just wound it around and made stitches. I probably could figure it out if I tried hard enough. But this seemed like a very easy way, and these are fairly lightweight, so it wouldn't really weigh your ear down. Oh, yeah, for sure. She says you've been in, like, a... Oh, no, that's what she said. Never mind. Colleen says that's a great earring idea. Yeah, I that, I was kind of thinking like, okay, so where's our picture? I'm going to try this. I'm going to continue on with this, and next week I'll show you what I come up with. But I um, was looking at it like this, and I thought, couldn't that be the top part? I'll glue a post and just add a little dangle, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. So I'll let you know. I'll, well, I'll bring them back could, next week. You could, if you wanted, you could take more of this. Like, once you have this all down, you could do a little bit, like, on top and make it, like, three-dimensional. Like, if you wanted to, like, layer it, maybe. Or you can also take it like this. Watch what I'm going to do. Okay. Hang it down and then glue this piece like this. And dangle something from there. Look at this girl. The mad girl. The mad girl, yeah. She has fabric hanging down from hers. Yeah. The angry girl. Uh-huh. Okay, so that's another idea. Like I, I said, we also have these little ones if you want to add them into something you're already making. To add in the trend of rosettes, that would work. And then we also have, of and then course... Sorry, whoops, sorry ribbon. Let me get this out of the way. And we have more colors than this, but this is what fun. I used. And also, if you liked this idea with the choker, we have that velvet choker ribbon. We have it in a couple of, or several colors. Yes. We have it in black, purple, and pink. And blue. Oh, and we have it in blue, too. Okay, I yeah. missed the blue, so yeah. And then, like I said, these come in a bag of um, multicolors. But we also have them in, in a bag of blue, just if you just want all blue. Which, we were talking about like a starch white button-down shirt earlier with like the bow tie. Mm -hmm. kind of. I think this would be cute with like a white, like if you're doing like tuxedo kind of look, and then you like unbuttoned your shirt a little, the, like the white button-down shirt a little bit, and then you wore this. Yeah. Like the choker. Totally. And that's your... Or just a t-shirt. Yeah, or white t-shirt, yeah. Yeah, be so cool. With like a denim jacket or something. And then we have this... 
rosette lace. That's pretty. You can make a boho uh, headband with this. Well, and also like Bisu did. Like 70s. Whoops. She cut little pieces of it and made her beads. Barrel beads. Lace beads. Yeah. Lauren, can you Those please wooden. go grab a pack of um, porcelain flowers, ceramic flowers? I had one other idea to show you, and I forgot to bring them. But in the meantime, I'll show you this. This is also something else that Bisu made. Let me get it in the camera, right? I'm trying to do this upside down and backwards. That has rosettes in it. This is a really, like, she, I think she's going to put a pin back on there and make it a pin. Hint, hint, brooches are also one of the upcoming trends. So the other idea I had was to take a number of these. I saw a necklace. I'm going to show you a picture of it. Let me look it up on my phone. I kept a picture of it as inspiration because I liked it so much. Now let's see if I can find it. Where did it go? Where did it go? And I lost it. Okay, if I can't find it, I'm just going to explain it to you. Okay, so <clears throat> while she's looking, guys, I wanted to show you these real quick. So my gum job earrings, I said that we had other things kind of similar. So we only had like one package of those particular beads left. But we have these, these little oh, pastel, and they're like frosted kind of, almost like my gum drop beads. They're flowers in those pastel shades. So that's just another option for you guys. Um, if you look in our flowers, um, and then we have other fabric flowers. So we have other colors. We have blue, we have purple, we have like these little pinky ones. Like if you want to do like seventies kind of like across your forehead headbands, which I, I think I might need to go check those online because I feel like they're not showing the quantity that we have and we do. We have like at least four of these yeah, ones, I know. these pink ones, but we have other colors. Like I just wanted you guys to see that we have other colors. We have several different shades of pink we have purples we have a, like a dusty blue that's like great for with denim oh a strapless dress with a rosette necklace that oh, would be with amazing this, with this, yes oh, oh or even the other one the this one with the pearls with the pearls that'd be gorgeous that would be that's a great idea like a tea length dress do you like a T-length dress? Yeah. Yeah. Right, yes. Yeah. Yes. But <laughs> yeah. Brenda's necklace is very shabby chic. I love uh -huh. that. Yeah. I love that. Okay. Lauren's going to show you one more thing. These are the... Oh, wait. Before we get to that. Oh. So yeah. this is the necklace that I saw online. And I thought it was cool. Mm -hmm. And I thought, how could I recreate that? And I thought, couldn't you take a bunch of these... A bunch of these and then... And just glue them, the <laughs> edges together, see like that, and create that same kind of look. And boom. Boom. <laughs> but then I got even more inspired and I thought, what if you did it with the rosette trend? Okay, so you have this piece and then you take another one of these little circles and you glue it there. Like on the edge? Like on the edge. Just glue it or underneath. And then you take another big one and glue it down and they just kind of go into a into a drop shape okay let me pull that back a little bit into a drop shape and then do the same thing i can't pick these up with these nails i know that's the one thing about these nails you know start on the other side and kind of do that look that they had going on there okay oh and then do like another that rose look oh, okay but it, when you do this so Make your rosettes, make all of your bases into rosettes the way you want. So this one, right now, see, I can't lift it up. So these would all be rosettes on top of these. These nails. Is what you're saying. I was just thinking, I so try to get the paper underneath and then. Okay. <laughs> so make, like, this was a rosette too. And glue that other one underneath. Oh, oh so wait. Okay, so you can leave this one metal. And or, then do like like some in between like metal with the rosettes. Or yes. Or or, or and and glue in a little teeny ones. Little teeny oh, ones. Oh, and some pearls. And some pearls in between. Here, come come this way. Whoa, so it's whoa, more whoa. down over top. 
Easy mother. Hold your little horses. She's manhandling the, <laughs> the, the tripod here. Whoops. But you guys get the idea of what Getting I'm saying. Yes. So then this would be another rosette. Mm -hmm. And you could add the little ones in between. <gasps> Ooh, a rosette with dripping tiny roses. Yes. Yes. Oh, Mary says she loves that idea. Yes. She says right up my alley. Yeah, see, I mean, really, when you start just thinking, imagining things in your head, I look for ideas for inspiration all the time. Um, like, I'll just type in, go on Pinterest and just type in um, statement necklace and start looking at what there is, and I kind of get ideas. Um, so let's, I'm going to wind this ribbon. So we were talking about 80s earlier, guys. And just kind of push it down there so you can envision... Like there's two rosettes, and then we have these little. Can you go up over the top of it, please? Over the t oh, like, like here. Here, here. Okay. Yeah. Give me a sec. There we go. That's better. But you get the idea, and then just kind of keep adding, and then and then add on the other side to like make a mm -hmm. V. I'm not doing that very well. Mm -hmm. You get the idea. Yes. I would like that just Some as a... could be metal. You could do asymmetrical. Do the rosettes and the flowers down one side and just metal up the other side. Why not? Or you could do like Brenna's and just have it fat, just like go across your neck like in a scoop. Like yeah. You know. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Like if you like more scoop style so necklines. So like put another big one here. This one in the middle. And these two little ones in between. Mary goes, options, options, options. Those bases will fly off the shelf now. <laughs> right? We, we, I love bases, Mary. I feel like they... I use them a lot. They sometimes get underutilized, because, but they're so versatile. You just have to play, and really, you can just open up and have so many options with them and okay, do so many cool things. Let's do it on the other one just for fun. Okay, so while you're getting that, so we were talking about 80s earlier and pearls and everything. So I made huge earrings, and they have pearls. <laughs> but these are, like, if I had them in person, I should have brought them. But they're, these are big. <laughs> but again, with the pearls. But yeah, so depending on your style and what you're doing, where you're going... Now, I'm, I'm not saying as I lay this down that the, the little porcelain flowers need to be these colors because they don't really go, but I'm just showing as an idea. Sorry, guys. I'm trying to get back over this again so I don't mind my work here. You could use those little ones or you could do something bigger like that or... Even bigger, like that. I just think that could be really cute. So I'm going to continue on with... It's perfect for spring, too. Yeah, I'm going to continue on with these rosettes. Which we are finally having some spring weather over here in Ohio. And see what we can come up with. Does anybody think they'd try that? Cherie says she'd like to see the washers wrapped in silk cording in with the rosettes. The washers. Oh, these. Oh, that would be cute. You could. Let's see. You could take. Wait. Let's let's do this. What if you wrapped yeah. it? Yeah, I think that's what she means. That's and a then, great idea. And then just put like a rosette in the middle. Yeah. Is that where we're? I think so. Like, and then keep, just keep. Show it here. Show what you're well, doing. Child, show what I you're know. Doing. I'm yeah. trying to pull it through first, just so I can get it that first loop. Okay, you want to continue? Okay, so is this what you're talking about, Sheree? Like just pulling it up through the middle? Is this another idea? If not, I can get that piece. <laughs> work it, work it, work it, work it, and kind of wrapping it around until the base like is covered. This, until the base is covered, and then put something in the middle, and you already have your hanging hole. Super cute. Let us know if that's kind of what you're talking about, Sharia, if we're not doing this right. 
<laughs> you could do... Oh, good. Yeah, see? See, okay. So, wait. We could do one of these in the middle so it's still fabric then. Or one of those blue ones. Let's see. Yeah. I mean, you need a different color ribbon, but... I mean, I guess you could do it that way. But, yeah, you could definitely do that. Now, see, now I'm, got, now I'm thinking. <laughs> yeah, not you. Does anybody know where that is? That mo somebody else comes up with the idea, and the guy goes, yeah, now I'm thinking. Think, Mom, Who I knows where that's time. from? We talk in movie quotes a little bit. That or song lyrics. Who knows, we did earlier. Who knows what movie that's from? <laughs> now I'm thinking. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. Monica, thanks for joining us. Yeah, hold in. your nails over there. My spring nails. She talked me into going to her, girl. I did. <laughs> She's adorable. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. No, no takers on the movie? <laughs> now know, I'm thinking. Know. Lauren knows. <laughs> that is a line. That's Brent, Benjamin Bratt. Benjamin Bratt from Miss, Miss Congeniality. Congeniality. He's in the FBI office and all his associates are tossing out ideas and somebody comes up with a good one and he and then he says now i'm thinking he goes, yeah yeah now i'm thinking and i'm like you you didn't think i'm nothing <laughs> anyway okay you want to oh yeah bring us okay. back up okay so just wanted to say thank you to everyone for joining us hope you enjoyed our little live discussion. Sorry we were late. Yeah, we had some great discussions in front of you guys today. Thank yes, you. Yes, thank you so much. Love your ideas, your comments, all the things. Continue to post and like yeah. once this video is posted, please. We love these comments. They make the video lively. But they're going to disappear once this gets posted. So if you could please yes, so um, go back again. Now, what are we going to talk about? Tell us what trends out of these that you liked or the ideas that yeah. you had yeah so people can then see them so next week what are we going to talk about talks about some more trends there is a big revival of the 70s vibe i was talking about the 70s headbands this year so boho? we're going to talk about three trends that kind of fit into that boho long layers and chokers okay okay we did see a little bit of chokers today, but we'll see what else we can come up with for next week. So, thank you so much. Thank you for putting up with me in the kitchen instead and of Linda. And if you guys decide to try any of these trends... Oh, yes. Make sure you post. Please post on the creative group. If you're not part of our creative group, please join. And it's on Facebook. We would mm -hmm. love to have you. Bisu Boutique's creative group. On Facebook. Yep. Yes. And everything that we shared today can be found at our website, too, bisuboutiques.com. Yep. You can also look at our Etsy shop <gasps> as oh, well. But I forgot to show the pearls. Oh, Mom. Okay, we're going to stay for another minute. Just a minute. Hold on. Tip it down. Tip it down. Tip okay. it down. Sorry, guys. I got so engrossed in what we were talking wait about. Minute, we forgot to show the pearls. Wait a minute. <laughs> Wait a minute. The pearls we have. Oh, goodness. Oh, do we still have the, the... Okay, there's ones that we have on Etsy. They are gorgeous. They have this, like, A... They're, like, the coin disc beads. Okay, here's coin pearls. But they have, like, this AB iridescent on them. Mm-hmm. Oh, they're beautiful. Okay, so these are coin pearls, a cream they color. They have, like, a dimpled effect. I love those because they're different than regular round pearls. Mm-hmm. Do you want to take them out and put them in your hand? Look at me, 30 lashes for me. What in the world? We have these pearls, which I think so are these super cool. Two, because of the dimpling and the texture, they're not perfect. They're not perfectly round and they're not perfectly smooth. Lauren still wears those headbands, Sheree. I do, yes. I have pictures. So they almost kind of remind me of like shell. Like if they were made of shell, because like I said, they're not perfectly smooth, not perfectly round. And it gives that, which also, I don't know if I'm spoiling things, is another trend, actually. I don't know if we're going to cover it or not. Should I not say? Should I keep it a secret? Keep it a secret. Okay, I'm we're going to keep it a secret. You guys are going to have to guess. <laughs> All right. We have these, which you're going to have to do, because I, I, I'm doing this upside down and backwards, and I can't tell what I'm doing. I like these because they're, they're, um... Are these the snails? No. 
They're like a square almost. Oh. But they're a... Oh, so Baroque? Yeah, they're kind of Baroque, and they're not a perfect square. I love them. They're like potato beads. I don't know, but I like <laughs> them. I'm going to call them potato pearls. Annalise should like that. She loves to name our things from food, like our cake pendants. Right? Okay, put those back in there. And then... <laughs> oh, I wanted to show these. Aw, oh, thanks, Annalise. She just went great live. Thank you. Up. Okay, I want to show these real quick before we go, because these are really cool. These are what we have left of cotton pearls. Oh, yeah, so Bisu loves these. I love favorite. them because I love the finish on the, the coating or the way they look. Can you please yes. show these, my love? Mm -hmm. And these are the 8 millimeter. See if you can get up close and see the texture, the texture. of them because it's really cool. Mm, they're a little textured on the surface. I don't think it's going to show. A little bit. They're super, super lightweight. And they have a little bit of texture on the surface. I'm trying, guys. And they are called oh. cotton pearls. They're very lightweight. Did you say that already? Yes. Sorry, and we do have other pearls that I brought, but I, I'm taking up more of your time now because I got so excited about what we were talking about. All right, Sherry, here you go. Oh, wait, this last one we have to do. I made this. Oh, show that. I made this from an old, um, oh, the picture Back up, like, back up. Yeah, like, I don't know back why. Back the truck doing. up. It's making it look really weird. I don't know why. The lighting is terrible. Yeah, I don't know why it's doing that, but yeah. I made and that you one. you can't see the, there, you can see it now, the side Mostly pieces. Like yeah, I used scraps of chain that I had. I don't know why it's doing that. We also have these. I'm going to show this number real quick. No, nope, wrong way. I'm always there going the wrong way. Bead 7191. Yes, Baroque pearls. And these are Miriam. They're Miriam Haskell style pearls. Oh, here's me wearing the necklace. So if you're looking for Miriam Haskell style pearls, bead 7191. There's the... Pearl and bow necklace. Okay, now I'm going to let you go, guys, because that was my fault that I didn't show you these. Oh, wait. Oh, I'm so terrible. I am so terrible. They're never going to come back again. Look, I forgot we have these. These are fantastic. These are wired pearl, ca caged pearl yes. drops. So these would be a great way to add pearls. They already have the loop. Mm-hmm. Ready to go. Okay, I'm going to stop talking now. There's my other headband, Sheree. And I'm doing even the, with my peasant top and everything. So, yeah, very 70s. And Monica's <laughs> going to love that, too, because she said she's a 70s girl. <laughs> yeah, 73, I think she said. Yes. Okay, I'm done now. <laughs> Guys, you have been fabulous. You have been fabulous. Thank you, thank you, thank you for joining Lauren and I in the kitchen. And putting up with our... Make sure you come back for 70s vibe for next our, week. Our tardiness and our craziness and our unhingedness and I don't know what you're saying. Our speaking in movie quotes. It's all good. It's all good. We're friends here. And the the singing. <laughs> well, you know. You know, it is but, what it is. Oh, yeah. Sparkle, if I want it, she says, but wait, there's more. I always say that to mom. I always catch her. And that's not all. Because the infomercials. But wait. <laughs> you will also receive a set of Ginsu knives. Okay. okay. We We're don't need done. knives. We're really <laughs> done now. I promise. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We really appreciate you joining us. Come back and join us for 70s week next week. Okay.